Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Staff Sergeant Nick Young in the New Jersey National Guard Public Affairs Office. We're back here again at the National Guard Militia Museum of New Jersey. And uh, today we're checking out some artifacts that soldiers left behind in the trenches of World War I. This is a trench flashlight. Looks like the, the early iPhone. Uh, <laughs> it does. And, and you would use this a very small light when you're going through the trench. You don't want to have a lot of light so people know where you are and hit you with something. And you can also turn it down by simply flipping it. You know, and you can go up or down. Uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> uh, And then we have um, a compass. Tells you where north is and where you can go. And you, can, you adjust this, of course, to the map. It's a lens out of compass. And uh, you can also use it to lay in a gun, uh, like an 81 millimeter board or something like that. Uh, first aid kit. Uh, the very basic first aid in here is pretty much just a bandage. Uh, these are the dog tags of the era. Wow. They are round, unlike the ones from World War II and later, which are oblong. Uh, these are actually the first dog tags or identification tags, dog tags is the vernacular term, that were issued. In the Civil War, when a guy was killed, unless you were next to him and knew his name, he was buried in an unknown grave. Yeah. I mean, because no one had identification, unless they purchased their own, mm -hmm. but the government never issued any. So, now we have the gas mask, of course. Uh, the gas is uh, a big thing in World War I. Thousands of guys were injured by mustard gas and other gases, and, and it affected their health for the rest of their lives in many cases. So this is a gas mask. When you heard a gas attack, you, uh, you put, this, put this on. This is a trench periscope, I'm sorry. You want to see what's going on on the other side of the trench, and you don't want to put your head above the trench because uh -huh. there's a sharpshooter out there. You go like this, and then you can see what's, what's going on out there without you putting your head above the, the horizon so it make you a target. Did the, uh, the sharpshooters and snipers like eventually catch on to, you know? Yeah, but there wasn't too much they could do about it. They, they could wait and wait and see if you made a mistake. And then <laughs> when you made a mistake, Unfortunately, trench warfare had a lot of that, uh, which was almost legalized murder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so uh, the first, uh, I think the first two Americans killed in the first infantry division in early 1917 were, were in a trench raid wow. and killed by a sharpshooter. 